Haddish. She's been doing comedy since she was 16. You can't tell me your favorite Tiffany Haddish joke. Why? Because she ain't done a tour yet. Mm -hmm. She ain't done a special. She has not proven the ability to tell jokes. Oh, no, no, they like wherever Tiffany you Haddish at under the sound of my voice. Real. Do you have a real core worker? When it comes to the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, it's no secret that reaching the top is rarely a straightforward journey, right? We've all heard those juicy conspiracy theories about celebrities selling their souls or engaging in bizarre rituals to skyrocket their fame. Well, hold on to your hats because Cat Williams just spilled some piping hot tea, giving us a sneak peek into those scandalous claims. Now, we all know Tiffany Haddish, the immensely popular black female comedian who has taken the entertainment world by storm. But according to Cat, there's a different side to Tiffany's rise to fame. He's throwing some serious shade and suggesting that Tiffany doesn't deserve all the recognition and stardom she's been enjoying. Cat claims that Tiffany lacks the true talent of a comedian and even goes as far as saying she can't write her own jokes or deliver genuine humor. So, what exactly did Kat say that has caused such a stir? And why does he believe Tiffany doesn't deserve all the fame and glory she's currently basking in? Get ready, folks, because this is one of the juiciest gossips in town that you won't want to miss. They like her because she want to sleep with a white man. That's why the only thing she said was, I want to give it to Brad Pitt. The only thing before that in the movie with me is I, I slept with this white man and I got a white baby. She had a white husband for the 14 years she'd been doing comedy and then all of a sudden divorced him. So, Cat Williams spilled some major tea during his appearance on the Frank and Wanda in the morning show on V103. Cat Williams, the comedian who just snagged an Emmy for his role on Atlanta in 2018, didn't hold back one bit when he started throwing shade at some of his fellow comedians. Lil Rel Howery, Jared Carmichael, Kevin Hart, and Hannibal Buress all got a taste of Cat's sassy insults. But guess who took the biggest hit? Our girl, Tiffany Haddish, the breakout star of Girls Trip. Cat wasted no time in trying to discredit Tiffany's success. He basically suggested that she doesn't even write her own jokes and hasn't proven herself as a legit comedian. Ouch. He argued that even though Tiffany has been in the comedy game since she was a teenager, nobody can seem to remember any of her hilarious punchlines. Why? Well, according to Kat, it's because she hasn't gone on a comedy tour or released a special where she can truly showcase her comedic skills for a solid hour. Shots fired indeed. But hold on to your hats, because Kat didn't stop there. He went on a rampage, calling out folks for praising Tiffany while dissing the incredible Monique, another iconic comedian. Kat even had the audacity to suggest that Tiffany didn't even write the script for Girls Trip insinuating that it was handed to her on a silver platter. Can you believe that? Talk about throwing major shade. Now, let's talk about the moment things got super spicy. Host Wanda Smith tried to come to Tiffany's defense, claiming that people adore her because she's real. But Kat wasn't buying it. Oh no. He questioned when being real became some sort of marketable trait. And then, my dear, he dropped a bombshell. Kat straight up accused the industry of only supporting Tiffany because she's got a thing for white men. And guess whose name he dropped? Brad Pitt. Yep, it seems Tiffany's not-so-secret crush on Brad may have played a role in her popularity. Scandalous, right? Now, you may not know this, but Tiffany Haddish has had a long-standing crush on none other than Brad Pitt. She undeniably claims that she has had a crush on Brad for many years. I don't know about her, but the fact that Brad already has seven children with Angelina Jolie makes me question, why would she have a crush on a man with that many children? But anyway, who are we to judge, right? Tiffany seems to think that having seven children wouldn't be a hindrance. Well, maybe she's onto something because according to Kat, this could be her way to skyrocket her fame instantly. In fact, back in 2018, Tiffany admitted that she and Brad had a meeting in an elevator where they made a pact. They agreed that if they were both single in a year, they would hook up. Yes, they plan to do it. Well, if I'm single in a year and you're single in a year, maybe we can get together and see what happens. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Unfortunately, 2019 came and went without any updates because Brad didn't attend the event that year. But fate has finally decided that 2020 would be the year of the Brad Tiffany meetup. After Brad won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor, he attended the Vanity Fair Oscar party, where he finally reunited with Tiffany. 
Of course, we can't say for sure if they actually hooked up or if Brad allowed Tiffany to hold his Oscar. However, one thing is certain. Tiffany's wish for some kind of rendezvous with Brad has manifested, and it has finally happened. Anyway, let's circle back to what Kat has to say because we haven't finished dishing out all the juicy details just yet. Kat made sure to shine a spotlight on other incredibly talented black female comedians who he believed were unjustly overlooked. He mentioned Lunell, Melanie Camachero, Miss Laura, and Monique, showering them with praise. Kat argued that the entertainment industry has this twisted bias, favoring lighter-skinned women and sidelining those who don't fit that mold. He urged everyone to wake up and see through the industry's tricks. Boom. Mic drop. There. The point is, we are in the only business where, as a black woman, what you look like is not supposed to be held against you. And time and time again, they mm -hmm. show you that you can be sidetracked by anything light-skinned. Mm. Mm. So, knock ah. it off. But here's where things take an unexpected turn. Get ready for some jaw-dropping revelations that will make you question everything you thought you knew about Tiffany Haddish. Last year, Tiffany found herself entangled in a web of controversy that exposed her true character. A lawsuit surfaced, alleging that she had coerced children into engaging in highly questionable activities that will make your head spin. Picture this. Tiffany, along with another person named Spears, supposedly pressured a teenager to participate in a peculiar reenactment of a controversial video involving a famous sandwich. Can you believe it? The alleged incident took place during a comedy camp way back in 2013. Shockingly, it is claimed that Tiffany coached the minor, guiding them through the simulated actions while the other individual observed, leaving the teenager feeling deeply uncomfortable in every sense of the word. The brave plaintiff, going by the pseudonym Jane Doe to protect her identity, took legal action on behalf of herself and her younger brother, John Doe, who is still a minor. But wait, there's more. The lawsuit also alleged that Tiffany astonishingly coerced John, a mere seven years old at the time, into participating in an explicit sketch titled Through a Challenging Perspective. According to court documents, this sketch involved John describing a difficult situation, while the other individual displayed inappropriate interest in him through the video. Disturbing stills from the sketch included as evidence in the lawsuit show close-up shots that insinuate suggestive behavior without fully showing the details. And guess what? A controversial video was actually uploaded to the popular Funny or Die website. Can you believe such content found its way onto a widely viewed platform? Once the lawsuit emerged, Funny or Die swiftly distanced themselves from the video, vehemently condemning its content and clarifying that it was user-generated and not produced or endorsed by their company. They promptly removed it from their website as soon as they became aware of its existence, a move that many would argue was necessary given the nature of the material. According to the lawsuit, the plaintiffs claimed that they were led to believe that participating in certain skits would skyrocket their chances of scoring coveted television roles. One of the individuals involved, Spears, gained fame as a hilarious stand-up comedian during their stint on the Fox sketch comedy show Mad TV from 1997 to 2005. As for our leading lady, Haddish, she became a household name through her regular appearances on The Carmichael Show and her breakout role in the 2017 film Girls Trip. Court documents reveal a shocking twist. The plaintiff allegedly had a repressed memory resurface when they saw Haddish engaging in a similar scene in Girls Trip. It seems this memory unlocked a whole new understanding of the severity of their experiences. But hold on tight, folks, because there's more to this scandalous tale. Believe it or not, the plaintiffs were actually contemplating filing a lawsuit back in 2013. However, fear gripped them, for they were still minors at the time. Fast forward to the present, and Tiffany made herself a surprising admission. She openly confessed that she had no clue those activities were inappropriate. Can you imagine? A grown woman involved in some eyebrow-raising antics with a child. It's enough to make your jaw drop. In an attempt to do some damage control, Tiffany took to Instagram to address the controversy. In a caption that reeked of regret, she wrote, Clearly, while this sketch was intended to be comedic, it wasn't funny at all, and I deeply regret having agreed to act in it. But wait, there's more to this sordid tale. In a shocking turn of events, the case was dismissed, leaving many scratching their heads. The plaintiffs suddenly changed their tune, claiming that Tiffany posed no harm to them. 
The dismissal left tongues wagging and minds spinning with speculation. What kind of settlement, if any, was reached behind closed doors? Were there backroom deals or threats that forced the plaintiff's hand? Well, we don't know for sure. Now, this really makes you think about Kat's claims, doesn't it? Does Tiffany truly deserve all the fame and recognition she has received? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And while we eagerly await more updates, make sure to watch our next video, where we'll spill even more shocking secrets that will leave you speechless.